This is me, Avaran, Cleric of Tampus, very unlucky soul. Found myself on the Nautiloid, a Mind Flare ship. Easiest way out was simply jump out of the window. Me, being the theatrical kind, let a piece of the Nautiloid hit me in the head, knock me out, and as I fall to the ground, life flashing before my eyes, something stops me from dying, or becoming a pancake on the ground. Laying there, contemplating my life choices that led to this moment, I realized I did get the short end of the stick. But I transgress. Let's start at the beginning. I was in Baldur's Gate enjoying my good old mug of ale and then I woke up inside this pod. Jumping out, trying to take bearings of my surroundings, noticed I was in a contraption of some sort, surroundings were on fire and everything seemed to be heavily damaged. I do know that a mind flare put something in my eye. What? I am not entirely sure. The creature here is stuck inside this man's cranium. I think it used to be his brain. Believe it's an interact devourer? But who, what do I know? I free it and make sure it's injured just enough that it will not hurt me. Or if it does, I would be able to take care of it quite easily. It doesn't realize I prod it with my finger and it just is very happy with me that I let it go free. I just... I'm such a benevolent guy. You know, I'm a cleric. I just take care of people. Creatures. Whatever this thing is. Lots of tentacles, I must say. Very good tentacles. We gave us its freedom and it let us know that we have something in our head, as it resonated with a wriggling sensation in our brain. This is where I remembered I actually had a Mind Flayer put a tadpole into my eye. Fun stuff, I would say. What's fun? Even more so is meeting Lazel, this git Yankee. First thing she does is put her sword to my neck and then realizes that I am not any different from her as we both are royally effed. That ball in her brain, she realizes that we are not under the mind control of the mind flares, which is very lucky for us, I would assume. So we decide to partner up and she lets me know that we have to beat some imp ass. I ask him as I look around and deduce that I am in Avernus as everything is on fire, everything is red and there are a lot of flying creatures of doom. We fight these imps, we kick their ass, us seems to be quite useful in this situation and it allows us to get to the next room. Here we see what looks like a very attractive elf in a capsule that did not open. I look around, I find this little tentacly contraption that looks like possibly a command slot for opening the capsule and putting it around I realized that there was something missing. I find the rune, put the rune in and the parasite in my head starts squirming and I realize I could be using this for other things than, you know, Letting it eat my brain, losing my few precious brain cells, using it, cold, falsing it, uh, pushing my willpower on it, I am able to open the contraption and command it to open the capsule for good old lady Shadowheart. As I found out, she is also a cleric, a fellow lady of gods. Which god? I do not know. Me, myself, I follow Tempus, the war god, the one who seeks justice. We save her, she picks something from her pod, seems she had enough time to stash something in there, and this is where we decide it's a good time to go and fight some big monsters. Specifically, whoever is at the helm of the ship. Here we find demons and mind flares fighting each other. See one of the mind flares get ripped to shreds by imps, while the other guy is fighting a Cambrian general or captain or whatever he is. He has a very nice sword. Now, one thing you need to know about me: I like very nice swords. Ignoring what the mind flare said, taking a small detour to the side, I knew what I was going to do, and that involved killing the Cambrian 
and stealing his burning sword. Doing just that resulted in the poor Mind Flayer to die. Time to strike. There, moment of silence for the Mind Flayer as I pick up the sword from Commander Zulk. And then I proceed to try and loot everything of everyone else that had anything on them, resulting in me getting a few precious stones as Shadowheart gives up on me and touches the tentacles, showing her prowess with tentacles as a dragon comes in and very rudely says hello by breathing fire all over us. Shadowheart uses the transponder and plonks us out of there. This is why I find myself here. First thing I find is Shadowheart herself laying lifeless on the ground, or so I thought. I decided to check and to wake her up by shaking her a little bit, giving her a little bit of a slap in the face. And she asked, how is it possible we're alive? Well, don't thank me. It's definitely not my fault. I didn't pull you out of your cage. I didn't do all the things that I needed to do to make sure I have a big sword and completely forget about the sword in my inventory. We talk a little bit, we talk about what we remember, what we don't remember, and decide that it's best we work together. She joins my party and we chatter a little bit, and then we proceed to go and fail miserably in hitting a couple of intellect devourers, which were peacefully chewing on brains from corpses of mangled fishermen. We throw our fireballs, we throw our spells and hit them with our maces, allowing us to kill them and loot the entire area of anything that looked precious of one thing or another. As we do so, I notice a silhouette on the cliff. I did not know this would be a Starion, but I did meet a Starion like this. Walked up to the cliff, he was trying to convince me there was another intellect devourer that I should go kill or help him to kill. Me, not wanting to really get into any more trouble than I was in, just ignored him and walk away. And as I do, I found myself on the ground with his knife to my throat. We clear up the misconception that we are Mind Flare Trolls and he understands we were just as fucked as he was. So he decides to join us and work together towards finding a solution, apologizing for wanting to decorate the ground with his innards, our innards, as he so mildly put it. Then I hear someone crying, realize it's a Mind Flare, grab my giant sword, decapitate its head and loot its loot had a potion of speed is something which I really like, as it allows you to go faster. Normally, it's found in the form of other things, but hey, who am I to complain? Now, we all know wizards pull rabbits out of hats. What does this make me? Because I pulled a wizard out of a wall. I found this purple symbol with someone yelling from inside of it and an arm flapping about. I used my cleric powers to try and calm down the magic and then I tugged at the hand hard enough. Out plonked Gale of Waterdeep. Lovely guy, lovely chap, very eloquent in the way he speaks. Quite attractive I must say. Decided to join my party as we again meet more people. This place for being in the middle of nowhere after a catastrophe seems to be very heavily populated. The people here have trapped Lazil who is stuck inside a trap. Very funny consider she thinks of herself such an amazing warrior. I just release her and we have a lovely chat where she proceeds to insult me in 12 different ways and tells me that she'll wait for me in my camp. I did not realize I had a camp to this point. I must go visit it later. Before that, I wanted to investigate the actual objective that I had in mind was this ruined temple and inside of it we find a couple of adventurers, brigands, thieves, grave robbers. We just scared them off by telling them mind flares are nearby, they're inside the ship and this gimbal hook gnome realizes he's way in over his head and runs away. He did tell me there were people downstairs that were trying to break into some form of temple. As I was thinking that, the ground collapsed beneath me. 